Hi everyone, today we're making Kerala style egg puffs. I had these egg puffs at a bakery in Kerala, India a long time ago and they were so delicious that I just had to recreate that recipe. Now the filling consists of boiled egg in a caramelized onion masala. It's really simple to make and if you have puff pastry, the recipe is a breeze. So let's get started. We start by making our filling. To a non-stick pan, add 6 tablespoons of vegetable or sunflower oil. Once the oil is hot, add 2 sprigs of fresh curry leaves. To this, add 1 and a quarter teaspoons of minced garlic. To saute that very briefly and add 6 small to medium red onions that have been sliced like this. Now you want to saute this patiently over a medium flame, stirring continuously. Slowly, the onions will begin to caramelize and reduce and attain this light golden color. Now approximately after 10 minutes of sautéing on a medium flame, we can add our spice powder. There's 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon of black pepper powder, quarter teaspoon of garam masala. You can use your own garam masala or check my recipe for my favorite garam masala in the description box. So just saute that till all the spices have lost their raw aroma. And finally to this we can add one teaspoon of tomato ketchup, just a teaspoon and a half a teaspoon of lime juice. We're going to season this with salt to taste. I added a third of a teaspoon here. And our sauteed caramelized onion filling is ready. You can see how the onions have reduced. Set aside the sauteed onion. Now for the puff pastry, I have one packet of puff pastry, 375 to 400 grams. We left that out at room temperature till it's thawed completely and softened. Just thaw according to the package directions. Now on a clean working surface, we're going to add some plain flour and we're going to roll the puff pastry once it's thawed and softened. You want to roll it into a thin sheet uh, around 15 inches on each side. Just roll it evenly and keep turning it clockwise as you do so to get an evenly rolled out sheet. So once our pastry sheet is around 15 inches on both sides, we need to cut it into 12 equal rectangular portions. Each rectangular strip should be about the size of your palm. You can always roll out the individual sheets gently. Uh, to adjust the size. So here we have 12 equal pieces. I have a baking tray lined with parchment paper here. And now we can prepare each of our puff pastries with the filling. So I have six boiled eggs that have been sliced through the middle. So that's 12 pieces. So for the 12 egg puffs that we're gonna make, so add a, about, add about a, 
Add about two tablespoons worth of filling to each egg puff, add it to one side and place one half of a boiled egg and fold over the pastry. You want to gently press the sides. This is a very simple puff pastry shape. You only need to press one out of the edges so you can leave the sides open but make sure to tuck in the caramelized onions so that they are not exposed as this will cause them to burn while baking. So that's two tablespoons of filling followed by the half of an egg, fold over, press that edge, tuck in any loose bits of caramelized onion and repeat the process for all the remaining puff pastries. You need to divide the sautéed caramelized onions to, into 12 portions before you start, just roughly eyeball it. It's roughly 2 tablespoons per puff pastry. We've preheated our oven to 200 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So all our puff pastries are filled and sealed. Now we have an egg wash that's one egg beaten well with two tablespoons of water. And you just want to brush each of the pastries lightly with this egg wash. Now place this in the preheated oven. Bake for 15 to 20 minutes on one of the lower racks till it, the puff pastry is golden on top. Depending on your oven, the timing may vary. Just keep checking on it so that the top is nice and golden and puffed. So our hot, flaky, buttery egg puffs are ready. These are really yummy when served with some tomato ketchup. Now these egg puffs must be served um, while they're warm. If, if they cool down too much, uh, they tend to lose their flavor. And once they're baked, it's better to leave them outside uh, at room temperature and not let them uh, sit in the oven for too long because they tend to sit in the steam and uh, they lose their buttery flakiness. Try these Kerala egg puffs for tea time. Hope you enjoyed the quick video recipe. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for lots more global recipes. Thanks for watching. Bye.